Issues and Tissue, a contemporary magazine program that engages and discusses issues of development within and outside the state. The program brings to the fore reigning topics like education, politics, agriculture, just name it, while we examine the nitty gritty of the issue in focus. Join me, BC Akpaida, 4.30 p.m. every Wednesday on African Independent Television, AIT, for an exciting time. Issues and tissue. If we can think it, we can discuss it. The next on my agenda, oh, I feel personally very passionate about, and that is why I'm so happy that my deputy is a medical doctor, is health. You know, you hear in Nigeria today, you say people are dying and they say brief illness. What does it mean of brief illness? It means that people are not looking after themselves. Why are they not looking after themselves? Because they cannot afford to go to the hospitals or the hospitals are not well equipped. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is that apart from equipping, you know, our general hospitals, the government hospitals, we are going to go into what? Introducing health insurance. I, it's a key thing to everyone. You know, uh, we work, work with the HMOs in Nigeria. They're on ground, they're everywhere, but people do not know, they're not in, into them. You know, we make it mandatory for every employer to give them, you know, um, their staff um, health insurance. We look into, you know, um, giving health insurance to the disabled and the elderly. Disabled people are really ignored in this country. And that's the fantastic thing about ADC. We're all inclusive. We include everybody. That is our policy. And we also, there's another thing is, when we work with international organization, you know, we invite them to Nigeria, to a do state, to come and invest in a state of art hospitals. What is happening in Nigeria today? People steal our money, they take it international, into international countries, so, you know, um, to go and bank there. Or even when they're ill, they go there to spend their money. If we bring all these hospitals here, we're going to a deal with them. So which means that health tourism will not be moving from Nigeria again. Instead, it will stay in Nigeria and also, you know, attract other surrounding, you know, um, countries in, Af in, 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 uh, in Nigeria to come to Edo State. So Edo State is going to be the health hub of Africa, okay. you know. And then in the other thing that um, we're going to look at, we talk about our youth. Truly, our youth, we have failed them. Morality is gone. So when, as you very earlier said, when people are hungry, they're bound to do anything, you know. So with agriculture, you know, employment, you know, uh, skills acquisition, that doesn't mean that if you want to be a doctor, you can go to university and all, that will still be in there. But another way to generate money is we are rich in culture, entertainment. And as an entertainment guru, I say myself, I'm very proud, 30 something years in entertainment, I know the suffering of entertainers. And I know that, you know, entertainers make us happy. Everybody work, 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 everybody must be happy. You know, so there is no thing we can do about that. It's a seller around the world. Nobody wants to carry a poker face around. Everybody, they work, they go and relax. And we have, uh, you know, uh, talents here. We have artists here. We have culture. The Benin Kingdom, the art in Benin Kingdom is the greatest around the globe. Okay, yes, we can see you have quite a lot. But have you talked about how to make people do some of these things? Because... A lot of people come in with beautiful ideas, and by the time they get into office, they get frustrated. One with the kind of uh, personnel they have, and um, you know the challenges of getting people to do what you want them to do. Have you talked about some of these and how to handle them? Yes, that is where we say education, 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 training, training, training. Uh, going into partnership with you know uh, international organizations. And another thing is Nigerians in the diaspora. Do you know something? ADC is the only political party that has, you know, um, ADC diaspora. 
They are hungry to come back home. They have money there. They have expertise there. They are just waiting for the right government, you know, a government that is not corrupt. Because once you have the Western mentality, you know, um, corruption becomes, you know, something that you will not practice. I don't see how anybody is going to, you know, corrupt me. Because, you know, I have a different orientation entirely. And this, that's one thing. So we're going to encourage all the Nigerians in the diaspora to come back home and obviously working with other international organizations to come and train us, you know. The thing is when people are frustrated, another thing is uh, man no man, as another one thing that happens in Nigeria. Um, I let my brother take the job, let my sister take the job. People are not qualified. Yes. And when you owe people to get into government, what do you do? You have to satisfy them. You know, you become their slave. And that is one thing ADC is not doing. I will not owe anybody. In this campaign, I'm not borrowing money from anybody. I don't want a godfather. I don't want a godmother. I just want supporters. I want you to listen to me, to know that we have a problem, and then let's solve it, you know, um, together. So, as I rightly said, the Nigerian diaspora, they're going to come back home. That's what we can guarantee, you know, and we're going to work with all the, you know, international organizations to come retrain us, and that is one of the ways. I tell you something, a dose that what I have in mind is to be independent of the federal government. And when we do put all those plans on ground, it will. Before I came up with my manifesto, I did consult experts. So it's just not a matter of writing. Uh, I'm a criminologist as well, apart from an entertainer. So I have studied, I'm well read, and I know what's happening out there, uh, you know, and um, I'm well traveled. And, and that's why we are making the point of appealing, even our uh, national chairman, Chifra Fumonsu, you can almost call him a diaspora, you know, so he knows the problem. That's why you find it that the ideology of ATC is very different from the, the typical political party here. It's the Nigerians overseas that are really the makers of ADC and we want them to come back home and they promise that if we have the right government they will come back home so when ADC gets in when I get in there I obviously I'm going to bring our Nigerians back home all right you're beginning to end my vote already <laughs> <laughs> and let me get back to you and the state secretary um she has a lot of passion yeah uh, maybe Obu has a, a lot of dream and um I know it is, the onus is on the party to um, promote her yeah. and support her to ensure that um, she gets to Osadebe Avenue. What is the party doing to promote uh, your candidate? Yeah, firstly, we, we saw all the goodies, the ideologies in her. Hence, we try to say, ah, let us forget about uh, gender issues. ABC is aware. That she's going to make a difference in the whole state after September election. The party is not resting on their hours. Mm. We've made sure that all the uh, 192 words is covered. We believe in reaching out to people, selling our idea. We don't believe in morning politics. We go out there to certify them, let them know that it is good and better for us to suffer now and enjoy later than to get it now with our with peanuts and sell our mortgage, our tomorrow. On that note, the members are combat ready to go out there and cast their vote for our candidate. Hence, we, we are assuring them that the majority of them have the belief that our, our vote doesn't count because of the way all this is being played in the state. But we are assuring them that we are ready, the party is ready to defend their votes. We, do, we, don't, we don't believe in uh, uh, giving stipends on the 14th day so as to get no. We have been selling our ideas. They believe in our ideology. And they are hungry. Let me tell you, there was a, a community we visited, somewhere in Orion Stroke, Omode Federal Constituency. The very day we went there and not try to, to synthesize it, they drove us back. Ah, we'll be a marvel. Say, no, 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 we don't want to hear, but then, no, 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 they are tired of planting. Some said that they will throw away their, their PVC, that each time they could go there and cast their vote, and the other son under rain, at the end, they discover it's not what they, they expect they got. That now we have come. We pressure, we must pressure to let me talk to them. No, it was 
after the third time of visit, they now apologize. Ah, they thought when they had A, they never bothered to listen to the D or C. Oh. <laughs> they thought for APC. So they apologize. As we speak today, that unit is 100% for us. The same with other uh, wards and uh, local government. All right, thank you very much. Um, Madam Mibel, uh, round it up right now. Um, what advice would you have for the youth? And let's even look at the vulnerable group, which of course you would say we all fall under, like they call the women and the youth, the vulnerable group, as well as the, the people with disability. What advice do you have for them? The advice I have for women and youth, we want to incorporate them into um, governing you know, um, the state. And eventually, obviously, Nigeria as a whole. Let them show interest. That's why I said they've been neglected. You know, uh, you know, it's our fault, you know, but it is up to us to correct. As I'm a mother, you know, it is time in a do state. The men are fighting. So what do the women do? They bring out their rapper, as I say, bring out your rapper and protect the men and protect the children and protect your, you know, your husband. So I, I advise them, I'm here, not by any godfatherism or anything that is all, but share hard work. I want women to hard, to be hardworking, you know, to come out, to show interest, to bring up their children very well, not forget the home front, you know, and because it, a, the youth are our future leaders and that's why we want to capture them very very young to understand what is happening in the country and be part of us because we are actually you know organizing the youth wing of ADC party you know so th those are the future leaders and they are going to do their own thing the young way because we're also in you know, as part of our agenda in Edo State is going to give them centers for them to exercise themselves you know, to play, you know, and so that, because the youth are very, very, you know, angry. You know, they have a lot of energy. We give them that opportunity to burn that energy, and through that way, they will create, you know, they eventually discover their talent as well. So we, the disabled people, they are also very well ignored. You know, we are going to have special trainings for disabled people, where disabled people can work and have dignity. To be disabled does not mean that you're not human, you know, and uh, they're um, less unfortunate. So we bring them in where, just like the UK, America and the Western world, you know, we build you know, offices where, you know, we can accommodate their wheelchair, you know, where they can actually go on, you know, to their work and do work and like every normal person. I have seen it happen and it can be done in Nigeria. And we will do it in Nigeria. And that is a promise. Thank you so much, Madam uh, Mabel Ogo, for coming on the program. I'm sure the physically challenged persons out there will be so excited yeah. because only a few, you know, speak about their costs the way you've just done. And uh, judging from the fact that you also have experience, you know, um, I hope, I'm sure they will give it their vote also. Yeah, we wish you the best of luck, uh, Madam Mabel Obo, uh, the gubernatorial aspirant of uh, the African Democratic Congress. Thank you so thank much you for coming. Thank you so Thank you um, so much. All right, and also we have Honorable Charles Imutinia. Thank you so much for also coming, the uh, State uh, Secretary of the uh, ADC. Yeah, that will be all for the, all the program today on Issues and Tissues. Uh, well, I, I can't say go out there and vote ADC. <laughs> but yes, to an extent, to a large extent, she's been able to convince us that, uh, you know, she's in for business. Maybe I'll always in for business. And uh, we'll go out there and let's see how uh, it turns out September 19th. Make sure you have your PVC and you're out there. For those who uh, like to ferment trouble, please would love to advise that uh, the election is not for troublemakers. Uh, let's put ourselves together. And their mothers, yes. Bringing your kids, like you say, let's cover our children. Call them in and uh, give them the necessary advice because um, uh, the forthcoming election, the least we want to have is violence in their dose state. Uh, so stay tuned to African Independent Television, ART. I am BC Akmaida. And uh, next week is another edition on issues and tissue. Have a lovely evening. Issues and Tissue 
a contemporary magazine program that engages and discusses issues of development within and outside the state. The program brings to the fore raining topics like education, politics, agriculture, just name it, while we examine the nitty gritty of the issue in focus. Join me, BC Akbaida, 4.30 p.m. every Wednesday on African Independent Television, AIT, for an exciting time. Issues and tissue. If we can think it, we can discuss it.